Hello, I'm Chris Bonpastori, a technical support advisor at Quest. In this video, we will be going over the client installation of Privilege Manager for Windows. We will discuss the three options for deploying the client. Client Deployment Settings Wizard, Client Windows Installer File, and Microsoft Group Policy Management Console. Once the console is installed, you can deploy the client to the computers on your domain in one of the following ways. Using the Client Deployment Settings Wizard, deploy or uninstall clients on your computers in one pass. This is only available with Privilege Manager Professional and Professional Evaluation Editions. The second option is to use the Client Windows Installer file. The file's name is PA Client MSI, and this can be used to install the client locally on a computer. Administrative privileges are required for this option. And the final option, Microsoft Group Policy Management Console. Use this option to deploy the software using logon scripts or a software deployment GPO. At this point, we will continue to the demo. In my first demonstration, I will go over the simplest installation of the client using the Client Deployment Settings Wizard. So first we'll launch the Privilege Manager console. Under the Getting Started section, Setup Tasks, click on Deploy Client Wizard. Choose one of the following options. Not Configured, which will enable child GPOs to inherit client deployment settings from their parent. Install Client, which will install or upgrade client software. Remove Client, which will remove the client software. Or Unregister, which will stop client software installation GPO settings from applying. I will be installing the client in this demonstration, so I will leave this option selected. Click Next. Click the Browse button to select the Privilege Manager server that was configured in the basic setup tasks. Use the Test button to test the selected server's connection to the ScriptLogic PA reporting service. If the test fails, check to see if there are network or firewall problems. Click the Clear Server Name link if you want to configure another server. The displayed service will not be uninstalled. Check any advanced settings that will be used for client deployment. These settings can be reconfigured later if needed. Click Next. Use Validation Logic to target the settings to specific client computers or user accounts within the GPO. Click Next. First, highlight the domain name, then select Create GPO. Create a name for the GPO. Make sure the GPO is highlighted. Click Link GPO, and then link the GPO either to the domain or to a specific OU. Click Finish. And now the client deployment GPO has been configured. You can check the settings by going to Group Policy Settings, GPOs with Policy Settings. Once the GPO has been selected, on the right hand side, click the Advanced Policy Settings tab. Here we can see Client Deployment Settings are set to Install Client. By highlighting Client Deployment Settings and clicking Details, any of our previously configured settings can be changed here. Now we will continue to the next option for client installation. The next option is to use the client windows installer file if you have a third party software deployment solution or want to install the client manually. To locate the client MSI setup file, inside the privilege manager console, click additional resources and then open client installation folder. The client file will display in the browser window. And now we will move on to the final option for client installation. Now that we have the PA Client Windows Installer file, I will go over the final option to deploy the client, which uses Group Policy Management Console. The first step is to copy the PA Client MSI file to a network share that can be read by all users. Or if the server was already configured, in the basic steps, a share named PA Server already exists. Next, we will open Group Policy Management Console, then right-click on Group Policy Objects, and select New to create a new GPO. 
Now we will name the group policy object. Click OK. Now right click on the new group policy object and select edit. In the group policy management editor, select computer configuration, policies, software settings, and then software installation. In the right hand pane, right click and select new package. In the dialog box that will open, browse to the PA client MSI file on the network share where it was copied or to the PA server share. You must use the file name field to specify the client location in UNC format, which is backslash backslash computer name, backslash share name, backslash file name. Next, select assigned in the deploy software dialog. At this point, we're going to close out the editor. Then we're going to assign the new GPO to a domain or OU by right-clicking on the domain or OU and select link an existing GPO. In this example, I'll link it to the domain. Select the GPO in the dialog box and then click OK. And we can see now that the GPO has been linked to the domain. And now finally, we will go to one of our client machines to see how the client gets installed. Now that the client has been deployed, I'm going to verify its installation on one of my user's machines. I'm going to manually kick off a group policy update. This should happen automatically as group policy refreshes on the user's machines. And we can already see that Privilege Manager has installed. By looking in the lower right hand corner of the screen, we see the Privilege Manager icon. A few other ways to check to make sure that Privilege Manager is running. You can check Task Manager and check for the CSE host.exe process. Finally, you can check Add Remove Programs. And that concludes the video for client installation. To learn more about Privilege Manager, visit support.quest.com forward slash privilege dash manager dash four dash windows.